Hey everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to short Excel data using OpenPy Excel. So here is our Excel sheet, which contains three columns. Our goal is to short this by the last login date. Right now, you can see that login date is all over the place. At a quick glance, you can see one of the 2021 date is in middle of 2022 date. So this is definitely not shorted. Let's go to our code editor and see how we can automate this date sorting using OpenPy Excel. So very first thing we need to do is import packages. In this case, we will need two packages, OpenPy Excel, and we will also need a date time. Now I already shown you our Excel sheet, so I will import that in our code. And we only have one sheet in our file, so I will get that using wb.active method. Now there is inbuilt shorting and filter methods available in OpenPy Excel, but it does not work very well with date. So we are going to use slightly different approach. First thing we will do is define a blank list to store our Excel data. Now we will iterate over all of our data. In this case, we will use iter rows function. And since we only need data, we will capture data from row two and also pass values only equal to true and append row into our Excel data list. Now all of our data is stored in Excel. Let's make sure we are getting correct data. To do that, I will print first five item from our Excel data list and run our code. Now let me open our Excel sheet and we will make comparison for first two rows. And as you can see, it's matching with first two item in our Python list. Now we will apply a short method on our Excel data list to rearrange. In our case, we want to short data by the last login date. As you can see, our data is stored in a list of tuples, and our last login date is stored at the third position or a second. So we want to use this date for the sorting. And as you can see, our dates are currently stored as a string. And we will first convert this into a date time object and then use that date time object in something called a lambda function. Our lambda function is a completely different topic in itself so I will not be covering in this video if you like to know about it let me know in the comment so let's first comment this print statement and then we will apply short on our list so let's take our original list and apply a short so here we are applying a short method and passing a key using a lambda function in this case we want to short by a login date. So I will pass a lambda function which will say lambda row colon date time dot uh, strip time row two, which essentially get us the string date. And here we will need to pass a format for our current date. Our date format is month, date, and a year. So that's what I am passing here month, date, and a year. If you are using a different format, make sure to pass a proper format in your lambda function. Now let me add the print statement back just to see whether our data has been changed or not and print it and instantly you can see there is some modification in first five item in our list so now we will first delete existing data from our original work and to do that you can use our ws dot delete rows method and pass your data in this case i'll pass it from two since we want to keep the headers uh, until the maximum row minus one and then we will iterate over each data in our list and append that in a worksheet and finally we will save our excel sheet. in this case we'll save it as a new sheet so we can make a comparison with our original sheet so now let's save our code and you can see here currently we only have one excel sheet called sample data dot xlsx and run our code we now have a new sheet called final underscore output so let me open that excel sheet and as you can see our data has been sorted so let's do a quick quality check very first thing you can see is our 2021 date is come at the top in original excel sheet it was in the middle if you go at the end and you can see the last five date are also sorted properly so this is how you can automate date sorting in excel using openpy excel 